video in which we are going to take a uh, closer but not really in you know, a super in-depth look at one of my latest axe acquisitions so I have gotten myself uh, quite a few new axes in the last couple of weeks or, or perhaps even months uh, most of them are uh, Damascus axes made by Sibilat I think I've gotten five or six of those and I'm gonna make a, a you know semi comprehensive video showcasing uh, those axes uh, I've also gotten a few uh, new regular axes made by Phoenix, which is probably my most you know, favorite Russian axe maker and perhaps axe maker in, in general. So what I got here two days ago, I think it is now, is quite a unusual design uh, by my standards. And I mean, I do have a lot of axes, but I have nothing quite like this one. Uh, so. Um, well, enough talk. Let's uh, take a look at it here. So what I have here in front of me, I'm gonna move up to the camera so we can take a, a bit of a better look here at it. But this is the Phoenix or Phoenix Sekira. Uh, it is listed as one of their, you know, more exclusive axes. Uh, also uh, a bit more expensive than, than most of their axes excluding their Damascus axes. I actually I don't have any any Damascus axe made by Phoenix so that is probably something I'm gonna look into in the perhaps not too distant future. I mean we are getting into to axe season right now. I mean it's mid-November so definitely definitely the time to uh, uh, to grab an axe especially if you intend to use it. Uh, and speaking of use, this is, well, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use this for. But anyway, uh, here is the axe in question, the Phoenix Sekira. And I mean, yeah, it's a large axe that we can tell right away. It's uh, 75 centimeters in total length, 2.4 kilos in total weight, or perhaps 2.45 kilos. I think I put it on my, my own scale. Uh, and what we can see right away here, without, you know, unsheathing it, is that it has quite a distinct blade profile, head profile as well, sort of. It is also my first axe made by Phoenix with this um, extended, uh, well, you know, I'm not sure what to call this in, in English since I've never had to, to mention it before, but it, I mean, it's to, to secure the head uh, tighter to the, to the handle. Um, but yeah, like I said, this design is, you know, well, it's quite different. Uh, you don't even have to unsheath it, like I said, to, to realize that this axe is no, well, it's not your, your everyday felling axe, your everyday splitting axe, bushcraft axe, camp axe, whatever you want to call it, it's not it. So let's, uh, let's do unsheath it, shall we? I'm gonna put the uh, leaf away. And here we have it. Nice polish, not a mirror polish by any means, but still, you know, a, a nice polished uh, edge of sorts here, or blade. Uh, I could have perhaps wiped it off a bit to make it even more polished. Um, but I think you get a, a general idea. So, what am I gonna use this axe for? That's a really good question. I was a bit uncertain before I got it, and I am even more uncertain with it in my hand. 
someone said that this is more like you know executioner style axe perhaps an axe that could work in you know in the kitchen splitting you know frozen turkey or something like that um, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this axe for uh, the balance or not really balance but I mean it has a very different feel to it than most of my other axes and axes that are uh, a lot heavier than this like I stated this one is 2.4 to 5 kilos and I have axes that are like 3 or 3.5 kilos that are uh, you know a lot easier to work with uh, in some sense um, Oh, by the way, the steel for this one is uh, WX15, which is, uh, uh, you know, an equivalent to 52100 steel, uh, ball bearing steel. Uh, and that is a, a nice steel for an axe in my experience and in my, you know, semi-humble opinion as well. Uh, for you new, new people that, you know, have not a lot of experience with Phoenix, this is not a hole, this is not a spider hole, this is a deep maker's mark hole. Let's see if you can get it uh, to shove here. Sometimes in photos it looks, you know, like, like an actual hole, um, but it is not. So, uh, yeah, an interesting design for sure. Uh, see I'm heavy I can still you know put it out like this with a straight arm so that's good uh, or good whenever you want to do that uh, looking at the, the tree here I think it is uh, let's see Phoenix they usually go with ash right I think it is ash but I'm not you know actually I'm not 100% sure uh, looking at the grain orientation see if we can get it going here might not be the easiest. To me, the grain orientation on this one is quite functional. Yeah, it could have been slightly better, but it could have been a lot worse. Looking at the head here, it is tightly fitted. There are no gaps. No gaps whatsoever here. It is a very snug and tight fit. Phoenix usually go with cross wedges. This one is, as you can see, a single wooden wedge here. Uh, but I have, you know, a, a cross wedge doesn't make the axe more secure by default. You use the, the you know, the wedges or the number of wedges uh, that is needed to make the axe head tightly secured to the handle and this is really really tightly secured very you know flush nice feeling here you can't even you can't feel any you know transition whatsoever here uh, speaking of the overall profile of the head here um, if this was you know this is there is just one Sekira and that is this one but if there was a Sekira 1 and a Sekira 2 this would have been the Sekira 1 with the polish and with this contouring this profile here. If this was a Sekira 2, if they existed, there would have been no uh, no contouring here. It would have just been, you know, straight. Uh, but this is how they decided to do uh, the Sekira. I'm not quite sure about the blade length. I can't remember it in my head, but the blade length is insanely, insanely long on this axe. I'm going to put it in the specs in the beginning of the video. Um, and it is Razor sharp, as with all axes that I have, uh, that I've bought from from uh, from Phoenix or from Lamnia, they all come really, really sharp, and they all hold an edge really, really well in my uh, experience. The you know I have one axe that is you know sharing at least some similarities with this one, and that is the Phoenix uh, Sikach. Uh, the butcher's axe. Uh, it is of course much shorter and with a blade length I think we can like remove this much and that it would be more like the, the Sikach. So this is this is something else entirely. I actually thought that that it would be a bit wider uh, when I ordered this axe. Um, it is slightly you know uh, th thinner, not really thinner, the, the blade I mean the the blade thickness is the way I thought it would be, but I, I thought it would be just, you know, a, a wider 
slightly wider blade. That is probably what I'm trying to say. So let's see if we can get some other angles here, just you know, to to look at uh, the shapes. Yeah. So I will put this one to some kind of use, but it, uh, I mean, it it will not really excel at anything that I use my axes for, and uh, well, it's just. It might just end up as a, a nice collector's piece. Give me one second here. So, sorry for the short interruption. Had to do some camera settings work. Uh, like I stated, this one might perhaps, not fully, but perhaps end up being sort of a collector's piece. That will still be put to to some kind of use when I can think about uh, what to use it for. Um, for those of you looking at this now and you know feel like well I want to get my hands on one of these they are not in you know regular stock at Lamnia I had to put in like a special order of sorts uh, I'm not sure if you know if they're gonna make it again if they can make that kind of special order but uh, I guess it's I mean you can always ask or send them an email and tell that you're interested in it. Uh, but it is, you know, a, a, a really nice looking axe, the fit and finish. Uh, overall fit and finish of this one is just incredible. But for me it has a limited use uh, that I have to say. But I mean, I do have all the axes I need. So it's not really like I... Well, I didn't buy it because I, I needed to. I bought it because I wanted it because it looked awesome. I mean, it would be a great conversation starter pulling this one out in the woods if you are with some, you know, friends or whatever, or strangers for that matter. I mean, it could be even more interesting, I reckon. So, um, yeah. Easy to choke up on here if you want to do some, you know, finer work. Um, yeah. What I'm gonna do next with this one is, even though it won't be a hard user, or perhaps not really a user at all, I'm still gonna dress it in my regular axe uh, costume of sorts here, with some uh, CCM cloth tape, some uh, paracord wrapping, and also some, some CCM cloth tape here on the, on the handle. It's just how I do things generally, so that is... Uh, I mean, it's no exception to that. Yes, the handle is perhaps a bit interesting in design. Uh, I've gotten a few comments about that before. Yes, yes, we all know what you are thinking right now. But it actually works really well. It is, I mean, Phoenix, those guys, they know how to make axes. Handles and heads. Uh, it is, I mean, it's not, you know, randomly made like this. It's made because it actually, it actually works really well. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Man, this axe looks sort of like my next chopping mistake. Gonna have to play it careful with this one, I think. See if you can get a good picture like that. I don't have a whole lot more to say or to show, really. But uh, here it is the Phoenix Sekira. Part of Phoenix exclusive axe line. Special ordered through Lamnia. Yeah. <laughs> 